Hi, my name is Dana. I live in Pasco, Washington. I was born colorblind, and I want to share with you my testimony of how God healed me in multiple areas of my life. I endured traumatic experiences at a very early age, and then again as an adult, a young woman. And through those traumas, I was affected with shame and guilt, condemnation, rage and hate, but fear had a grip on me. I was afraid of everything and everybody. I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of you thinking of ways or plotting ways that you would hurt me. I was afraid that you and someone else were talking about me. I was being held captive, a prisoner from fear, the nightmares. There's no word to describe how bad the nightmares were. They were every day. They were every night. I would wake up screaming, fighting. I felt like I was fighting for my life. There were times I was re-experiencing the trauma, like in real time again. Smells, tastes, certain pieces of clothing like a tie, the way it would come off or the way you would adjust a tie or anything was a trigger and would send me spiraling deeper into that prison of fear. It was crippling. The fear was crippling. I expected trauma because it only happens if you're worthless. That was the lie the devil told me and I took it hook, line and sinker. I believed it with everything that I had. Depression for me wasn't about sadness. It was about my life wasn't even worth living anymore. That nobody can understand the pain, the torment that I was going through on a daily basis, on a nightly basis. And the world had no need for me. Uh, my family had no need for me. They'd be better off without me. So I put a plan in place and uh, decided, okay, this weekend that was coming up, I would take care of it. And my family wouldn't have to deal with me anymore. But Thursday, I got a call for my niece. And she said, Aunt Dana, I go to this church and you'll love it. You should come. And as soon as she said that, I knew, I knew it was the answer. Sunday got here. I went to church. On the way to church, I was praying. I said, God, if this is from you, have a woman meet me inside and have her give me a hug. I got there. I was scared to death to walk in, but I did. And Pastor Mariana met me at the door and she gave me a hug and it was needed. Then I sat through service. I went and sat next to my brother-in-law and I felt like Pastor Vlad was preaching right to me. Like I, I was the only one in the sanctuary. And he said that, day, I will never forget, he said that day, if you're dealing with nightmares, God is taking those nightmares today. And I thought, that's me, that's me! I'm the one with the nightmares! So the nightmares were gone. I never suffered another nightmare again, never. After church, a couple days later, my niece, she called me again and she said, hey, Aunt Dana, have you heard about morning prayer? I knew I needed to be there. I was there. I encountered God for real there. He met me. <laughs> he met me at the point of my need. I needed him so bad. God changed my heart that day. You see, I walked in a victim, but I walked out victorious. I forgiven those who hurt me. I, I'm talking about complete forgiveness for those who hurt me. It's possible. I had been to counselors, psychologists, and you know, I did all their exercises to try and heal me, try and remove all the pain. I didn't need to cry anymore. I didn't need to write a, a paragraph about the pain. No, what I needed to do was put it under the blood. What I needed to do was give it to God because that's what he went to the cross for. 
He needed to do that because see what happened next was miraculous. The Raise to Deliver conference. I get there just in time for worship to start, which I love worship. So I get down there. Uh, I'm standing there. Uh, John Chi, he comes to me, puts his hands over my eyes, prays over my eyes. I didn't feel anything, nothing like, you know, lightning or fire or heat. or I didn't feel any of that. I went home, went to bed, got up the next morning. As I'm doing my hair, I look in the reflection of my vanity mirror, and I see that my mousse bottle is like blue and red. Wait, that bottle is blue and red. Wait, wait, wait. That tissue box has yellow on it. And so I see the reflection of my clothes in the closet and I'm like looking at shirts and you know, like this is purple, this is yellow, this is green. This shirt is hideous. What was I ever thinking when I purchased this shirt? Keep in mind, I had never gone clothes shopping ever in my life by myself. If it had to do with matching or color, never done it before. The first thing that pops in my head is, I gotta get a hold of my sister Ginger. And I tell her, ask me to tell you what the color is, any color. And she goes, okay, what's the color in this picture right here? And I told her, that's maroon. The look on her face was priceless. It was priceless. Like, how could you have, maroon? I'm Seriously though, in the past, all I could see was true white or true black. Anything in between there, I was lost. But I was calling the colors out something I had never been able to do ever in my life. So God healed my heart and he healed my eyes. And along with all of that, he also supernaturally gave me the ability to know the color because I didn't know the colors. So the fact that he was able to supernaturally restore the knowledge that is only gained when you're little I mean, that's a miracle in and of itself. God is good. Since then, I don't have triggers anymore to the trauma. So much so that the trauma I experienced as a little girl in a house in Idaho. In 2021, my husband and I were on vacation. We took a drive. We found the house. It was abandoned. I got out walked up to the front door, looked inside, saw very specific things that I needed to see. Fear didn't come upon me. It didn't trigger memories that would cause a spiral into depression. It didn't trigger a nightmare that night or any night since. See, because my nightmares are gone. All the triggers are gone. I don't look over my shoulder expecting someone to be there to hurt me anymore. I don't live in fear anymore. I don't look for the nearest exit, expecting to be in fight or flight mode. That's not who I am anymore. See, because I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm no longer a slave to fear because I am a child of God. I was healed. I am no longer in prison. My chains are gone. I am not the same person I was. God has changed me. He can change you. Are you dealing with trauma in your life, young or old, male or female? There's no doctor on this earth that can fill the void that was caused by the trauma, that can heal the nightmares that was caused by the trauma, that can take the fear. Man can't take fear caused by the trauma, but I know a God who can. I wanna encourage you today If this is you, call on the Lord. He will hear your call and he will answer in a mighty way. I want to encourage you today. Just call on Jesus. He is the answer to everything you're holding on to. My name is Dana and that's my testimony.